Well, I replaced the speedometer cable on my 79 Corvette. It's got a turbo 350 automatic transmission, which was uh, very popular starting in the 60s, ran through the 70s, and I guess they stopped putting them in uh, maybe 82. Anyway, uh, all kinds of Chevrolet vehicles, trucks, um, passenger cars have the turbo 350. Great transmission. But anyway, uh, place of speedometer cable it started to leak all over the garage floor. And a uh, little research, um, I got a new seal and a new O-ring for the bullet that goes in there. Problem solved. No more red stuff all over the ground. I'll show you how I did it. Uh, it's a 10 millimeter to take off that uh, bolt that holds in the bullet. I think I say in the video three eighths or something, but it's a 10 millimeter. I was kind of surprised, a metric bolt on a uh, old Chevy vehicle. I guess that was just the beginning of the famous 10 millimeter because they, as you know, they're everywhere. Anyway, hope this is helpful. I know I'm a lot happier with my garage floor not covered in uh, <laughs> transmission fluid. See. Okay, so you can see that pretty well. Uh, I replaced the speedometer cable eh, maybe a year ago or so and it just drips on the garage floor, tranny fluid. Pretty sure it's coming from here. Really didn't leak before I changed the speedometer cable. So I understand that there's a, uh, what's called a bullet in there. I'm going to uh, un remove the cable, remove the, uh, I think that's a 3 8 bolt there that has a little plate that holds on the bullet. Pull that out, and uh, from what I've read, there's a seal in there. So let's uh, get that pulled out. All right, so we have the uh, suspect part out on the table here and clean it up a little bit but from what i've read this plastic gear slides out easily you know the way it feels it's like i can believe right there that that seal i mean it's really not an o-ring it's a seal see that could well be worn out so you know the <clears throat> The way that gear feels in there, it's just kind of slightly wobbly. <laughs> and if there's any wobble, that means there's not a good seal. So I'm just going to replace that. Stay tuned. All right, here's the new seal. I got this at O'Reilly's for like four or five bucks. And uh, so we're going to pop that guy out. You know, somebody on some other video uh, indicated the problem might be that, that the seal was not pushed in far enough. He took like a 10 millimeter socket tapped on it a little bit and it went down further and that might have done it for him I don't know but I think mine's down pretty far so um, you know this thing obviously just that part falls right out and uh, I'm gonna a screwdriver and pry that thing out maybe I'll try pushing it down first see if it goes down but here we go okay so I was able to put a device wrap a paper towel around it kind of uh, gently work this thing out I'm sure I trashed it Getting it out, but uh, clean that up. Slide the new one back in. All right, it's in, yeah, 10 millimeter socket. Just put it on there, gave it a couple of love taps and uh, slid right down in there. And you can tell when it seats, it kind of changes tone. So, ready to, and I put a little red grease in there. A little uh, brake grease. I don't know why, but it uh, seemed to be a thing to do. Let's put it together. Okay, well, all back together. And I cranked up, uh, since we're Got all four wheels off the floor. Figured I'd go ahead and just run it for a second. Speedometer's working and not seeing any leaks. You know, was, I got that new O-ring on the outside of the bullet. That was a little bit hard to push in there. Uh, it looks like the, whatever that plate that holds the bullet from backing out is nice and flush. Got everything tightened up. Uh, put the Speedometer cable pretty much finger tight and then just used a uh, really long pair of needle nose to give it a little Kind of tighten it up just a bit get it past finger tight So we're going to take it down off the jack stands and drive it around and uh, clean up the existing uh, oil on the drive uh, the garage floor Put a piece of car put a piece of cardboard under there and see if it leaks uh, I'll keep you posted on progress have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. So long.